what is up internet how are you people today is a very exciting day for me and my family today is the first day of inside church at pastor rooney at kingdom of god ministries kgm we have not had the opportunity to go to our church building in well over a year and we're super excited we actually get to go back to church like normal obviously we're still going to be rocking our masks but to have this opportunity to get into church again not be in any weird weather conditions just to be in the church building is something i've been looking forward to for a long time i cannot wait to enter church today so right now we're in the car right and we're just driving to the church like we're going on the church road right <laughs> And it feels like this is a dream. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like I'm actually going to church right now. It feels fake. Because we haven't did this in so long. <laughs> Look, there's cars at church. We're at church right now. Look at people are getting off their cars and walking into church. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this moment. I haven't had a lint brush in so long. The kids just reminded me that this is the Denali's first time at church. Woohoo! This is not the first time Denali's been at church. At this church. Ah oh, man, it feels good. Just standing in the parking lot, I feel blessed already. Can't wait to get inside. Come on, let's go. We're missing it.
Shout for joy to the Lord. All the earth, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us. And we are His. We belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His holy name. For the Lord God is good and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. This is what God wants to tell us on this. And I know we went through the waters and the river and the fire. And some of us are still going through. But I thank God because he's with us, I cheat and call me, and he's won the battle. The battle is not lost. The battle is his. So, can he lose a battle? Never. Never. No matter what you're going through, no matter how much I'm going through, we're not going to lose. <laughs> If you didn't get it from the back, you did it from here. Remember, remember the greatness of God, the plan of salvation, there's no grace, there's no mercy. Blessing. They're saying closing prayer now. Uh, I can't believe what a blessing it felt like to be in church again. I thank God that we had the opportunity to do this today. Did you like church, daughter? Did you like church, daughter? How'd you like church? Well, I thought church was absolutely beautiful. What'd you think? Why'd you say it like that? Because I didn't really know what was going on. I mean, I don't understand that hardcore homin that okay. that man was saying, but God bless him. Alright, where are we going to eat now? Come start. Let's eat LaGranja. We're dressed too nice for LaGranja. No, we're not. Hmm? Where are you going to go? I don't know. What do you want to eat? Hmm? Anything. Well, you tell me what you want. I want Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's closed on Sunday. <laughs> <sighs> one, of the, one of the biggest joys of leaving church is arguing with your family to figure out what you guys want to eat after church. I miss doing this. Hey, what do you want to eat? A pie. A pie? Yeah. What kind of pie? A pie that tastes like pies. Mm. Oh, See, Taylor eats it plain. 
missing out on life. I ate the girl before. I don't like the one who has garlic. Donna, you just don't like it was green on there. Like, real stupid. Like, the probably you loved it, the flavor, but because there was green on it. It's like Eto. It. Turn it No, it's not. Are you a chiller job? You see how I know? What part of it was Eto, Baji? The green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, kids, put your stuff down because we're going in the restaurant. Just park, you know. No, no, no. You just get off because you got red bombs on. No, I don't. Like an average church service day that we used to have, we're going to eat John the Baker. Mask right, on daughter? Here? Oh, yeah, thank you. My daughter reminded me about my mask. What a beautiful daughter. There goes the hairdo. The kids, would you want to bring games inside the Six restaurant? Oh. And then they put all the games on the table. And then when the gage bring the food, they don't want to move the game because like they're doing something at that second. And then the gage just get paused, like holding the food over the kids' heads, and the food drill hot. And then the gage get like panic because they don't know what to do because there's no room to put the food. No thanks. No thanks. Oh man. things to happen, John the Baker don't have crayons and coloring books anymore. So they started doing like real cry face actions and I have to go get their games on the car. You ever leave church filled with the Holy Spirit and then like your kids want to put the breakdown on you? Having fun with your game daughter? Woohoo! Oh, you love that smile. You having fun with your game daughter? Taylor don't get garlic rolls. She gets a plain roll because she's weird. They don't even taste good. What are you talking about? They're not garlic. Don't say that. There's an emergency. Lena says they don't even taste right right now. It smells okay. A little different. Hmm. Still good. Just a little different. Anytime Lena dances or sings after she eats, that usually means it's a good sign. How's the food? Do your dance. Not only it tastes good, it makes designs when it drips. Lena's wearing her brand new Ted Baker dress that we bought at Aventura. Uh, we gave 200 and something dollars on this dress, and it looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We had a great time at church. I thought I should give you guys uh, the pros and cons of having church service again in the building. If you guys are subscribers, you guys probably have seen that we've been going to church. We haven't like not went to church. As soon as they gave us the option to come back to church, we've been going. We've been going to uh, mostly the outside services. So what's the pros and cons of coming to church back in the building where we pretty much grew up, where the kids grew up? What's the pros and cons? Well, the pros, the pros is that we're in our church building. Uh, you don't got to worry about wind, you don't got to worry about cold weather, hot weather. The church is usually a decent temperature inside, I want to say in the 71, 72 range. So that's one pro. Another pro is that you have regular chairs, no more folding chairs, no more any of that uh, uncomfortableness. We got a long bench with fabric on there, fabric pews, whatever you want to call it. That's another huge pro. 
another pro is that we could dress the way we want to. A couple times when it was outside, we would have to wear like outside appropriate clothing. And then when it's real cold, you would want to wear like a hoodie, sweater. So now, as you guys can see, we all had church clothes on, which is beautiful. And just the familiarity of being in the church building is another pro. Like we felt at home, if that makes any sense. Now, I know church is just a building, guys, but we grew up there and it's comfortable. It's the only way, it's the only good way I could describe it. Cons of having uh, our church back in the building. I can't think of any. <laughs> Honestly, everything's a pro. We had a great time. We really enjoyed ourselves at church. So chess are you joking? That's a very small piece. Look at what that is. You got these little extras. Look how cute this little box is for spaghetti. Oh my god. Thank you. Well, we had a beautiful blessed time. We had us a little John the Baker. We ate. All right, where to now? I don't know. You said you want dessert, you want Publix? I don't want anything, so it's up to you. I'm, I'm so Italian. Prove Nobody it. Nobody can get mad at me because I really am. Prove it. So if people think I'm- Prove Italian, you're Italian. I have my Italian. DNA thing that says- mm -hmm. That's not good enough proof. It Do says, something on YouTube that's proof. It says Italy. Forget that. You got you need other proof. This. Yeah, now say a phrase or something. Uh, what's that word I always say? Excuse me. No, that's dear. how you say excuse me. Okay. Dear. How about like this? It's a spicy amita ball. Oh my God. You are tomorrow. See? I thought he was Jewish. Mario is not Jewish. Mario is Italian plumber made from Chinese people or Japanese people. I don't know if Shigeru Miyamoto is Chinese or Japanese. That's a good question. Hey, phone head. I need a destination. Uh, be careful. You be careful. You see? Huh. You're supposed to put that song by the Saturday Night Live. What's it called? You could tell by the way I walk, I walk, I don't know. I don't know what song it is. Saturday Night Fever, you mean, not Saturday Night Live. Check this out guys, it's almost 80 degrees outside and Lena's got her heated chair on. You can tell by the way I do not work anymore. <laughs> Don't put that on there. Is there any way you could get off the car? Yeah, that would be beautiful because I want to go park, I'm tired. Okay, okay. But you're all mad, I gotta wait for the pass on board. I can't help you, sorry. Let's go. Wait. Do not drop anything. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I love how Bobby's got 50 million things in her hand and she's got to go down a big step. So we just got home. Uh, Lena bought us some desserts from what's it called? From Publix. I'm wearing this uh, G Vlog T-shirt. Throw back to the first 100 vlogs on my channel, which were called G Vlogs, which stands for Gypsy Vlog. Should I bring back this merch? Nobody really bought it when I had it up. I think one or two people maybe bought it. You guys want me to bring this back? If I bring it back, would you guys buy it? And would you guys like if I did my intros like this? You guys are watching G Vlog. No? Let's go downstairs. This is my chilling out in the house hoodie. Uh, my grandfather and grandmother got me this hoodie for Christmas. It's an Old Navy USA hoodie. I really like this hoodie a lot. It's very comfortable. I did not know that Old Navy had such comfortable hoodies. So I made this my dedicated in the house, chilling, playing the game, watching TV sweater. Don't get me wrong, I use this sometimes when I go out too, but most of the time it's on me when I'm chilling out in the house. This is so dangerous what they do, I swear. Look at that stuff in Stop! Done. Just kind of doing for you. You're doing for me too. Stop! I didn't know my hand was so hairy and the uh, hand. Those look disgusting. Smell how good they smell. Ew!